now to a story out of Windsor, North Carolina. Avery Holly is facing kidnapping and robbery charges. Police say he robbed a woman at gunpoint, then forced her into her car and started driving. The victim convinced the suspect she had money at the home, and the details only get stranger. Tonight on your size, Deanna LeBlanc is in the newsroom now. She picks up the story from there. Yeah, Laura and Stephanie, Windsor is a small town in Bertie County, one that doesn't see a lot of crime. In fact, the police chief told me today he cannot remember a kidnapping ever in his time there. But that's what he believes happened early Wednesday morning, and it started off a crazy chain of events. Police say a woman was working at her Camden Street business late into the night Tuesday when she was startled by someone barging in. He did imply he had a gun. He had a sock over one hand with a pointed type object inside the sock indicating that he had a gun. The suspect, Avery Lamarck Holly, demanded money, but the woman said she didn't have any. Police say Holly then forced her into her own car and drove her around till she thought of something else. She convinced him that there was money at her residence and that if they went back there, she would give him that money. Police believe the victim suggested that knowing her husband would be up waiting for her to get home. She really kept her wits about her. She was able to de-escalate a situation. The subject was much bigger than she was, much stronger. He manhandled her a little bit, but she kept her wits about her. Police say Holly held the woman in a chokehold type grasp, then forced her into the home and ordered her husband to his knees till that husband took matters into his own hands. During the course of it, the female victim is released from the grasp. The husband is able to retrieve his weapon, which was nearby, and was able to fire at the suspect who left the residence running. Police say about four hours later, they found Holly here, not far from the woman's home, hiding in an abandoned trailer. He's now behind bars. The victim, shaken, went right back to work. And she did an excellent job that night. But still, when this type of thing occurs, it's bound to shake you a little bit. And Chief Todd Lane says the victim's husband was well within his right to fire his gun, believing his own life and his wife's were in danger. But the chief does caution the action, saying if you miss your target in a residential area, a lot of things can go wrong. Meanwhile, police are encouraging any business owners in the area who feel unsafe to request police drive by their businesses at night or escort them to their cars for the time being. In the newsroom, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. Ten on your side.